you score in your hometown, grew up 10 minutes from here. How did it feel just to see that hit the back of the net? Uh, it was amazing. Um, just knowing that my family was in the stands, um, the sacrifices that they've that they've uh, had with with me in this career is just like it's overwhelming. So I'm just happy that they saw my first goal here. What what kind of fish is the big fish? <laughs> it's a big fish. Uh, whatever you think is a big fish, but I like the shark. shark. Yeah. When you look back at your youth days and even back to Patrick Henry, yeah. you know, now you're scoring your first goal in San Diego for the national team. Mm -hmm. I mean, take us through that moment for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, coming in, I just want to help the team in any way I can, whether that's pressing, whether that's, you know, defensive work, getting in behind, creating goals, um, going scoring opportunities. Um, but to score is just an, an amazing feeling, obviously. Pretty good connection there with Jaden. You both came on at the same time. Can you talk about what it's like to play with another young player like that? Yeah, I mean, Jaden, we've we've grown a great connection off the field. I think it showed on the field. And um, she's an amazing person, an amazing player, and I just can't wait for future moments with her. Is it just these last two camps to get your chance with this team? Really yeah, no, it's, it's you know, everyone just wants an opportunity and a chance. And I think that I try to make most of every opportunity and chance that I get with this national team because it's rare, um, it's earned. So, um, yeah, it's amazing. To become someone who's called in all the time, who plays all the time for this team, what do you feel like you have to do? Um, to be consistent. I think that's that's what the U.S. Women's, US Women's National Team is, you know, asking of us is to be consistent with creating goal-scoring opportunities as a nine, scoring goals, um, being dangerous. So. I think that's the most important thing. How did Pete Gray's prepare you for this? Yeah, definitely. Their, their stadium filled with fans cheering, booing. Um, definitely makes it easier to play in teams like this. And then, then when you started Chelsea. It's the, how yeah. Is it, how's it going for you? You scored in your debut? Yeah. Uh, what, what's that been like for you? And how is it different from what you've experienced here? Yeah, I'm just transitioning with the team, getting to know everyone, obviously building connections. You know how it is. Um, just being a new player, you just want to soak in everything, listen to your coach, and just show what you can do with, for the team. Laura Harvey is among the top contenders for the head coaching job. She was your coach for the U20s. Could you, would you like to see her coach this, this national team? I honestly don't care who the U.S. national team chooses. Um, all I can do is control how I play, control what I can do on the field, and I think that's that's why I have to look forward with this new coach. Yeah. Coach Gilbert talked a little bit about the patience that they've had in terms of bringing you in to the national team fold so like what has that process been like for you as you sort of waited for your chance to see yeah. moments and then culminating in today yeah no I don't think it's just it's waiting it's just about doing what I do every single day um knowing that you know I'm good enough knowing that you know I'm improving every day and you know it's going to be undeniable when I get on that national team so um it was a blessing in disguise kind of that whole process and you know now I'm here Yeah, I've been th I've been thinking about debuting it the next time I scored, either for Chelsea or for the U.S. Women's National Team. So I scored today and I just debuted it. Where did you get the big fish uh, friendship bracelet? Um, from a fan, from a fan in the stands.